After a brief drive through the Moses Darwe constituency, Swapo party members and supporters converged at an open space marking the official campaign of the party. The meeting observed a minute of silence in honour of the former late councillor of the constituency, Aili Venonia, for whom a replacement is now being sought. Stefanus Ndengu was then announced as the party candidate to contest in this election. The Swapo Party Youth League was the first to show support to the candidate. We want to reassure our candidate, Comrade Stefanus Ndengu, that the entire leadership and rank and file of the Youth League in all our 25 branches of Moses Garweb, we are ready, we are determined, we want to make sure that come January the 6th, Young people in their numbers, in their majority, are queuing up to ensure that Swapo Party maintains the status quo in terms of leadership. To say here, and the leadership of the youth in Moses Harweb is just to tell you that we as young people are ready to go and vote Comrade Ndengu. That's what we are assuring you. Swapo Party Secretary General Sophia Shaningwa called on Dengu not to be a man who stays in air-conditioned offices only, but to engage the electorates and to address the challenges they face. She singled out water provision, electricity, roads, establishment of kindergartens and other basic amenities as issues that warrant his immediate attention. Ndengu pledged to work hard and implement the Swapo Party's manifesto. Comrade, once you elect me, we are going to work together with you and I will hear your needs. What you want is what we are going to do all together. I thank you. Shaningwa also warned independent candidates to refrain from using the party's songs during their campaign. At the rally, the newly elected members of the Central Committee and Politburo, as well as the pioneers, were introduced and Shaningwa stressed that the Swapo party still has a long life.